Okay, so you guys remember Melanie from the Honeydew Carpenter, and today Darwin is not here, but we're going to try and get some projects finished in preparation for the rocket mass heater to be put in. Okay. And, and we're going to go ahead and move some furniture and see if we can get some tin down and get a hole cut for a window. I've done this before, but never by myself. So I'm not doing it by myself. Have well, you ever put a window in before? Not by myself. Right? I've, I've always helped Darwin. Right? So, so, so we've both been assistants or, or with yes. somebody looking over our shoulders. But I mean, how many brains does it take to put in a window? Hmm. Good question. Right? <laughs> So one of the reasons that we did the tin was because it was free, but the other reason is, is that it would come down super easy when we were ready to put up something more permanent, something prettier. And you can see between the two of us, we have one whole wall down in maybe five minutes. So this space in here has the flattest sheet metal without any bulges. And so I don't mind it being there. I, th I think it's probably good to have a little bit of tin on the wall to tie into the tin on the ceiling. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I don't necessarily think that I want to keep this one as tin, but since we don't know where the rocket mass heater is going yet. Yeah, we might want to wait. Yeah. Um, I do know that he's pretty open to where you want it. And you might decide where you want it once you see it and what it actually looks like. But he's open to still keeping it through your window or putting it more permanent in to the house. This was a, it's a workable project. It, it was really cheap because a lot of what we had was on hand already and plus yes. Darwin's expertise. But there's always some kind of tweaking thing, which is why I think it's nice to do a budget project before you do your expensive project, just to figure out, did you put it in the right place? Did you use the materials you wanted? How much would it really cost when you get down to brass tacks? So this has been the perfect project. And that is a really cool camp stove. It is. We've used it for years and it is so fun. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and hopefully we just do an amazing job and John doesn't cry when he sees the video. And so all we need to do is cut it to the height that we want to, and, and decide, do we want the window to open all the way to the top or do we want to bring down and, and have a, a support here and have it open at the same height that everything else does. So what we're measuring is not the outside, this outside frame part. We're not measuring that because that just goes on the outside of the house. What we're measuring is the inside part that we need to have space for because this, this just acts as a, a place to, to screw it into the outside. This is the part we're cutting for. But it's always hard no. when it doesn't quite fit. Right, to go back and try to recut. Yeah. So it looks like that top mark that I just made gives us about... All right, so we're going to do some guard, guide holes around the outside so that we can use the skill for, saw from the outside. Stabilizing if I can 
we just put a couple in, it'll help stabilize it. So then, you ready? Yep. Bye. Finish the thing. There we go, perfect. It works, it fits. I was opening the window so I could hear you better. Okay. <laughs> okay, so if you don't have a dad to come show you how or a friend to help you who's seen her husband do it, here is the book that I really like. It's an older book, it's Home Improvement 123, second edition, and I like it because the pictures are really, really good. Like here, you can see what kind of support you need to put underneath so that you're safely holding your window up because if you don't have enough supports underneath your window um, all you have on the outside is plywood and a little bit of siding and so it, it in the weight of the house can make it settle other things can make it settle if the plywood gets wet you're going to have problems with settling so you want to have enough supports underneath your window frame um, but this also will be in the link below if you need one of these. This goes through everything. It goes through flooring, it goes through ceilings, it goes through electrical um, installation. So, really great book.